back to another video. It is day day 17 of my trip, I believe. It is Friday, uh, 23rd of June. That's a complete guess. Uh, it is 10 a.m. bang on. As you can see, the weather, it was supposed to be nice today, but as you can see, these clouds suggest otherwise over downtown Orlando in the distance. It's uh, very, very dark. But if you pan round, blue skies. Just take a look at the construction of Epic Universe there. Crazy to think in two years time, a whole new theme park will be close to or already opened. Crazy times. So today's gonna to be a shopping day. I'm gonna to head to the Orlando International Drive premium outlets first. Never been to that one, weirdly. Um, we always see, me and Ella always watch vlogs of people going there and the Disney character warehouse always looks miles better than the Vineland one. So I'm gonna go there, FaceTime Ella, see if she wants anything, have a little look around. Uh, after that, I'm planning to go up the other end of our drive, uh, check out what's going on at Icon Park. Again, not been there on this trip. I think probably because I'm solo, so I haven't been to Tin Roof or Obviously, me and I like to go to Tin Roof for a drink, um, off some food up there. But yeah, just try not to get as many lifts um, up high drive. It's a bit of a long, a long walk. Um, so I've not been up there this trip. So I'm going to go up to Icon Park, maybe get some lunch. Uh, not sure where just yet. Just like that, we've made it to the premium outlets here on International Drive. Uh, I just grabbed a lift. It only costs like $6. Only a three-minute trip, five-minute trip, but five pounds pretty much can't go wrong. And it's a long walk. I was actually thinking about walking, but it said like 1.7 miles on my maps, no chance. That was a good three, four miles, so I'm very glad I didn't walk. Cheap lift, straight here. Well, no Ella with me, but she would be all over this. I just had a quick look around from the outside. This Kate Spade is so much bigger than the one at Vineland. It's absolutely huge in there. 10% off. I'm sorry, Ella, if you're watching this. You probably won't be watching this. This shop looks fun. Zoomez. A little bit of skater vibes going in. Yeah. Good job, Ella's not here. See this. Life is short. Buy the bag. I'll be honest, I've got no idea where I'm going. It's like a maze, this place. I remember this back in the day being Bell's Mall. Does anyone else remember that? 15, 20 years ago? It's got all the different sections to it. I'm lost. Three words to always grab my attention. Great American cookies. I am sold. It's 10.41 in the morning. I'll come back. Oh, Bumblebee. Nice of you to make an appearance. Airsoft shooting range. No thanks. On a mods, roll out. Some kind of shooting range. Interesting. Oh my god. I think I've seen this shop on vlogs before. Right up my street. And Batman. Yes, let's go in there, check it out. Don't touch. Ugh. This is an absolute dream for film fans like me. The Cloud Tower. All oh, this Back to the Future stuff. Love it all. Sixty dollars. Cool. 
on today's episode of Who's Buying This? Little homage to Hagrid's. Love that. Again, who's buying horror characters like dolls? Who's buying horror figures like this? I'm guessing Ellie Pula collect them. <gasps> Need. <gasps> My god, what is this? We did buy a Back to Future board game, but it was well confusing. This one doesn't look as bad. I don't think. Oh, so cool. You tell me you built a time machine? I have a DeLorean? Oh my god. That is so cool. $160. That's so good. All these Harry Potter games are deadly. House Cup competition. $60. But it looks so good. Just wait for the case. Damn it. Every time I see Jumanji, gotta pick it up. So cool. Well, <laughs> didn't expect to see Bob Ross next to uh, Batman. There we go. Gotta say, I'm here for all the Grogu merch. <laughs> Brilliant. How extreme are we talking? Kevin was robbed. No Kevin. Well that shot is absolutely awesome. Hollywood heroes and villains, right on my street. Loads of film stuff. Loads of board games. Yeah. Very cool store. Want to buy a lot. Just those board games are heavy. <laughs> oh the Disney character warehouse. I've seen this on vlogs and it looks so much better and less chaotic than the one at Vineland. I'm gonna have to face Pamela, show her around. Pretty cool design. Quite all there. Need. Just face out Ella around the Disney character warehouse. Absolute chaos. Did not last long. People everywhere, kids everywhere. Can't get a moment's peace and look at anything. <laughs> How do people do this and vlog it? It's only like 11.15, I thought it'd be quite quiet. I guess not. Absolutely not a chance. Ella, I'm disappointed in you. I'm not sure I'm gonna have any room in my case, but you can't not go in the, the Nike outlet. Have a look around at least. As always, it is huge in here. Not a bad deal to see when you walk in. Two of these graphic shirts, white over there, all different colours over there, two for thirty dollars. Not loads of great deals. Train is still expensive. I was tempted by that two for thirty dollars shirt uh, deal though. It may come back to that. Looks like Adidas have some good deals as well. 40% off t-shirts, which $25 if my maths is correct. That's another $10 off. That's right, isn't it? <laughs> I hope it's right. Yeah, 40% off. However, a lot of it is rascal gear like this. Or this. That's what you see a jockey wear. I'm sure I've seen Frankie Dettori wear that before. I genuinely didn't think that Feeler was still, still around. Still going, Feeler. Ah, uh, the old classic. May as well go in. Oh, it smells nice in here. I had absolutely no idea what I was doing in there. I was getting harassed by uh, the workers in there every two minutes. Are you okay? Are you okay? I'm fine. I've got no idea, but I'm fine. Anyway, Ellie didn't get in last year. I don't know why. Um, just went in and went out, but. I picked her up some, a few little bits, so I thought I'd get her some stuff to try out. It's quite cheap anyway, it got like five things, four things, and it came to $17, so I'm all about that price point. Quick look around the food court here. Five guys. 
pizza, like a Japanese place. Chicken. Well, that's tempting to be fair. Got an Asian place, Charlie's Steakhouse. So that was a quick little walk around the premium outlets here on iDrive. I'm just going to try and walk across the road. Uh, there's another shopping centre that used to be called Festival Bay. I can't remember the name of it now, but they've got a Bass Pro Shops. And it's such a cool store. And I want to buy something as well. Wish me luck getting across here though. I think it's just over there, sort of left diagonal way. What's the best way to do this? I do not know. I made it across the road. It's always a daunting experience that. <laughs> but I made it. It was a good job I didn't get a lift over because that was, even for me, a very short walk. <laughs> Outdoor world. Florida's great American outdoor store. Very nostalgic for me. I used to come here as a kid quite a lot. This is actually mad. Look at this place. Wow. You can actually get a trolley for this place. Oh, that's cool. Look at how cool this is. Some fish in there as well. Big old bears. There's one impressive store. <laughs> that reminds me of Big Bang Theory. If you know, you know. Some big old barbecues. That is a big old bike. Look at the girth on those tyres. That is madness. Kayak, speed boats, all the fishing rods. Oh, fish pillows, $30. I mean, they don't even look good, do they? <laughs> Uncle Buck, what a film. Again, if you know, you know. It's so grand in here, ginormous. I'm not as keen on um, being able to buy guns. There's actually, a, there's actually a sale on guns as well. I don't mind those type, the old, uh, the old toy guns. And they came in for a cap. Oh God, that's shooting arcade in the distance. It's a game, by the way. Definitely not real. We used to do that back in the day. It must have been 15, 20 years ago. Good times. Brilliant. Got pork chunks. K9 cookies, bass bites, different kind of impulse buy at the till. I got what I came for, two caps. Right, I'm a bit of a cap badger, so I got another two hats. Both 9 99 each, absolute bargain. Time is now 1.05 p.m. Starving, I'm not eating yet today, so lunch needs to be on the agenda soon. But I thought while I was down here, I may as well check out this uh, little shopping plaza that used to be called Festival Bay. If anyone remembers it, it used to come quite a lot with the family. Um, I think it's changed into like a, uh, lots of uh, activities. So I think they have like axe throwing, go-karting, uh, extreme virtual cinema or something like that. Go check it out. I mean, the artwork's really cool. Perfecto's Lounge. Cigar hooker. Interesting. Dress code, no whip, no weapons allowed. I do like the old uh, no weapons allowed policy. We've got a ride in the sky. I think might be some kind of simulator. Where you fly. Hey, look who it is. Look who's out front. It's called Dizzy. Des, 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 Des something. Can't read it. Desertland? Desertland we're going with. There we go, Desertland Park. That's cool, Ghostbusters. This place is pretty cool. It has changed a lot since I last came here. We've got a, uh, an auto museum with cars and classic cars, and it's free as well. You don't even have to pay. How cool is that? 
go-karts racing, we've got arcades, bowling alley. Looks like they've got some kind of James Bond experience. Always gets my attention. Look at the car here. Got the mystery machine. This is so cool. Have a quick walk around first. This has changed so much. It used to be like a vibey shopping centre. I'm not sure too many people know about this, by the way. It's right at the bottom end of our drive, past Universal. Rocket Fizz, soda pop and candy shops. We're into your leather, we've got a leather shop. So it's still quite run down, there's still no one here. I'm pretty sure no one knows about this place pretty much. I mean, it's the middle of the day and there's a handful of people I've seen so far. There you go. Diesel and Park, it's called. So I think back in the day, as you can probably tell, you used to be able to enter the uh, the Outdoor World store from here. Because it's still kind of themed now with all the uh, foliage. Um, looks like you can't do that anymore. I mean, it has been... 15 plus years since I was last here. Look how quiet it is. Literally not one person go-karting. It's a great space. Pretty cool just to walk on if you're in the area. So it's only, it was only a five minute lift drive down the road. As I mentioned earlier, axe throwing, Excelsior. Again, nobody in there at all. Looks like we've got loads of cool retro like Pac-Man pinball games in here. Pinball Palace. Again, no one here. Indiana Jones. Oh, I've got a dartboard. Cool. Pool tables. Ah, oh, so the Cinemark's still here. That's still in the same place. Oh, and the uh, mini golf putting edge. That was also here. Oh yeah, they glow in the dark. Mini golf. It's all coming back to me now, I remember this part. Military pavilion. Oh, some people go kite now. A few more people around here at least. So you can, so you can go all the way around the auto museum. Dirty soda, what's that about? I'm surprised no one in there. Filthy. Oh, I got cookies up. Tempted. The House of Cereal. Brilliant. Is that a place where you can just go in and eat cereal? It is as well. C cereal on the shelves. I'll have a bowl of Captain Crunch, please. <laughs> I've a go-kite. It does look pretty fun. Neat little track. Good one if you have uh, younger ones as well. You can see we've got like leaderboards and times, best times of the day. Cool. I hope he's going on it. Good little food area, pizza pie, burritos, ice cream. Got a burger place which looks about the same level as your standard Saturday night post night out takeaway. Similar vibes. How cool is this auto museum? Got Bugs Bunny's car. Even got the mystery machine. Got a Thunderbird's car. Just showed Ellen this and she loved it, but how scary is that? Absolute petrifying. Absolutely terrifying, that is. I think we've got Harry Potter and uh, James Bond and Batman one through there. I don't think I'm going to do it today, but how cool. We've got a James Bond exhibition here. A little bit random. I don't mind it. All of our load of pool tables back here in seating area with the, with the bowling is, bowling alley. More arcades. Bloody hell. You took my eye out that. Please do not touch. Golden eye. So for any James Bond fanatics, come on down to Diesel and Park. This place looks like it's shut down now, but look, the Blues Brothers. 
A bit universal there. We've got car from the Flintstones. Cool. Oh, so it's a really cool place here at Diesel on Park. Loads to do. Loads of really cool things to see. Yeah, glad I came. But now it's time for lunch because it is 1.50 coming up soon in the afternoon. And I've not eaten yet and I'm absolutely starving. So it's time to go get some lunch. I've arrived. It's time to get me some tenders. I'm starving. Very true. Literally ordered about two minutes ago. It's already arrived. Six tenders, waffle fries, Mountain Dew. Yes, please. All done with lunch at Hooters. I think they're the best tenders, you know. Just edging out Surfside, I think, in my opinion. So good. Six tenders, waffle fries, limited Mountain Dew. Twenty dollars. Can't go wrong. It's happened again, guys. I've got a Dew baby. I had like three Mountain Dews in like twenty minutes. Pirates Cove Adventure Golf, an elite mini golf course. Not quite as good as the one on Buena Vista, I don't think, with a big hill at the end. Still a lot of fun. Just gonna have a wander into Icon Park, see what's going on. I think I wanted a key ring as well from a, a store that she always used to get a key ring from. Good old Icon Park. However, it's not quite the same when you come alone. Oh, tin roof again. Also, not the same when you're alone. Told you it was bad, guys. Uh. Weirdly, Ella always has to get a tacky keyring from this uh, gift shop. I don't know why. I just sent her the picture and she said she wants this one. Eight ninety nine, which seems quite a lot for a keyring, but you know, it's love. A classic Orlando gift shop. Tunes blasting out as well. Ditch. Oh, quite a lot of hat up there in the top. Maybe not, actually. Closer up. I've only got two hats, that's enough for today. Guys, I'm six foot two and I can't reach it. Do you request ladders? How does it work? After all that time trying to get it down. Lots of screams coming from the star flyer. Not surprised. I always think I could do this, but then in the same breath, I don't think I could. Yeah. It's a no from me. And I'm back in the room. It is 3.30 now. A bit of a different video today. Obviously we started out at the uh, Orlando Premium Outlets, then walked across the crazy road to the Outdoor World Store. Uh, got a couple of Bass Pro fishing shops caps and then checked out Diesel Land Park, which used to be Festival Bay. Really cool space. And then just nipped to Icon Park. Again, it's not the same when you're on your own really. Could have got a tin roof or anything like that. But the main reason why I went there was to get a queue for Ella, which she wanted. And I just want to get back to Universal, which will be in another video because I'm heading down there shortly. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>